Hello everyone, it's Dylan from Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. So we got some interesting news about a month ago that seems to confirm that Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush is going to be ending most likely in March of 2025, which of course is only about eight months away. Now a lot of us thought that Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush was going to be a two-year anime, much like Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s was a two-year anime. However, we were pretty surprised when at Jump Festa at the end of 2023, Konami announced that there would be a new season of Go Rush, meaning that Go Rush was going to get a third year. And while we don't know for sure what's in store at Jump Festa later in this year, in literally five and a half months from now, I thought it would be fun to make a video going over my thoughts and predictions as to what we could get at this year's Jump Festa and where the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime could be headed in the year 2025 and also addressing a couple of rumors that have been going around within the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime space, including an official announcement from Konami that has to do with Konami Animation Studios, which of course put out earlier this year in February, the Animation Chronicles video, which was about five minutes of different TCG archetypes getting quick lore-based visual shots. So we will certainly talk about that a little later on as well. Now, here's the Go Rush ending next year. This is where it comes from. It actually comes from Konami Cross Media New York. Huge shout out to JBEX, who's always pretty well on top of these things. I'll link his uh, Twitter down below. Definitely recommend following him uh, if you want to just stay up to date with any rumors or official announcements that pertain to the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime side. And Konami Cross Media New York said um, via World Screenings that the Go Rush dub is going to be 151 episodes episodes, which of course would take it till about March of 2025. Now we don't know if the original subbed version of Go Rush will be 151. I could certainly see it being a couple of episodes below that or more than that. Remember with Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s, the English dub did not actually dub all of those 7s episodes. I believe they skipped only one, maybe two of the recap episodes. So the amount of episodes for the Go Rush dub could be less than the amount of episodes that we actually get for the Go Rush anime itself, or this 151 number could be a placeholder, but I think it's pretty fair to assume that Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush anime is going to end at the beginning of 2025, which is the normal time slot for most Yu-Gi-Oh! anime to end. March is when 5Ds ended, it's when Zexel ended, it's when Arc 5 ended, it's when 7s ended, Vrains ended weirdly in September, and there were, then there was a six-month gap of nothing because, you know, Vrains was just mired in weird production issues and decisions. They were changing studios and... Yeah, it was, uh, it was strange, but outside of that, we are used to our Yu-Gi-Oh! shows ending in March, and I expect Go Rush is going to be ending in March of 2025. So that begs the question, what is going to happen next? We would imagine that at this year's Jump Festa, we are going to get an official announcement for the ninth Yu-Gi-Oh! animated series, and it leaves many of us wondering, what is that ninth series going to be? Now, I still believe that Studio Bridge is going to be working on Yu-Gi-Oh! 9, even though we do not have any confirmation that the anime, especially the weekly anime, is going to stay with Studio Bridge. I think that's a pretty safe assumption. It seems like the shows have been very well received over in Japan, and it seems like Studio Bridge has done a pretty good job working on Sevens and Go Rush. There haven't been a lot of recap issues. There haven't been any animators coming out and complaining, which is what we kind of saw throughout Vrains and parts of Arc 5 as well. Um, there hasn't been any like last minute rewrites to our knowledge. Like even Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel had a bunch of summaries like with Alko the Baryan Observer that never ended up happening, which kind of indicates that there were last minute changes uh, even within that series. So it seems like Sevens and Go Rush have had the least amount of chaos in a while for the weekly running Yu-Gi-Oh! animated series. And I would imagine that Konami's probably pretty content with that and the job that Studio Bridge has done. The question is, will Yu-Gi-Oh! stay with Rush Duel format? Well, I believe the answer is yes. I would like to propose 
something that I think would work really, really well. Now, I have no basis as to how this would work or why I think it would happen, but I really would love to see personally for Yu-Gi-Oh! 9 a hybrid style anime. Very similar to what Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains did with speed duels and then the master duels when obviously the duelists would have their typical standing duels. Similar to what 5Ds did a little bit with turbo duels and their traditional standing duels. But what I would love Yu-Gi-Oh! 9 to be is a hybrid show that has rush duels and master duels both mixed in. The ratio doesn't need to be one-to-one. -one. It can be majority rush duels. That's totally fine. But every now and then, having your characters switch to using a master rule formatted deck, I think would be really, really cool. I think it would do a really good job of reaching people that maybe aren't in to the rush dueling style and get them interested in the show because you never know when that master duel style is going to show up. And maybe people who have not given the Rush Duel anime a chance would be more willing to give a hybrid style anime a chance and maybe they would end up really enjoying Rush Duels because Master Dueling would also be present in the formula and the Master Format decks could be new archetypes that would actually get support in the main card game or it could be very popular archetypes like you know, Cyber Dragons, Galaxy Eyes and could just expand on support uh, for those archetypes. I think it would be a really, really, really cool cool thing for them to do and I think it's one of the easiest ways for them to bridge the gap between your Rush Duel fans and your Master Rule fans and I think it could bring a lot more eyes to the shows and I think it would also be really cool for characters that we will be watching over the next two to three years to have a Rush deck and a master deck. I think it would be really interesting if maybe you have a character that's very good at one and not so good at the other, and a character that maybe is just like really, really good at both or really bad at both. I think there's a lot of really interesting storytelling elements you could do if you have both games presented in an anime style format, because the main game, as I've said for many years now, does not need an anime to keep it going, but we have gotten a lot of the anime support in the last five years that we maybe hadn't had previously through like you know the animation chronicle set or the legacy duelist packs and i feel like there's not that many more animate only cards because of all the support we've gotten in the last five years and the fact that there has been no master rule anime since september of 2019 which was about five years ago now so i think that is a really 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 cool thing that they can do i think there's a lot of positives for it i don't really think there's that many negatives you could still allow the rush duel uh format to be the spotlight very similar to how like turbo duels and speed duels were still the primary way to duel in 5ds and brains like i'd be fine in a 13 episode arc if seven of the duels are rush and two or three of the duels are like master rule. Like I think that ratio is still totally fine. And I think it would be a really, really fascinating idea. So while I do believe that Yu-Gi-Oh! 9 is going to be another quote unquote rush duel anime. My big hope is to see some sort of hybrid style. We've seen it in the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime before. I think it would be a great time to introduce it now. Especially that we've had five full years where the anime is only focused on exclusively rush dual style so let me know what you think about that i do want to touch on another big announcement that was made at a konami shareholders meeting again this was tweeted by jbix about a week and a half ago in a question and answer somebody asked about konami animation and konami themselves said they are working on multiple projects but will have to wait a little bit more for the announcements so that is freaking incredible. Konami confirming they are working on multiple projects at their Konami Animation Studio. And this goes beyond just Yu-Gi-Oh, right? If you're like a big Castlevania fan or any other IP that Konami owns, the possibilities are endless. Who knows what they are going to cook up at that studio? Now, a lot of people might wonder, could this end up being the weekly anime I would be really, really shocked. I think if we do get a 
TCG OCG lore based anime. I think it's going to be like 10, 15 minute YouTube videos that we might get on a monthly or bi-monthly basis. A weekly running anime is a very, very, very difficult thing, especially recently with how bad the animation industry is. And for a brand new studio like Konami Animation, I don't think they're going to want a burden like that. That being said, I think it's very, very likely that at this year's Jump Festa, we are going to get a teaser for something that they are working on Yu-Gi-Oh! anime related. I think it's a very good chance that it's going to be TCG lore based, but who knows? Maybe they'll do like five, ten minute shorts on like legacy anime characters. Like how great would it be if they just do like a one shot duel of like you say dueling Crow or you say dueling Jack and we get to see like new support for those old decks. I think that would be incredibly, incredibly awesome. And that could be a way to give more anime attention to the Master Rule format as well if they don't go down a hybrid route with Yu-Gi-Oh 9. But guys, let me know your thoughts on where you think the Yu-Gi-Oh anime is headed. I would love to know your thoughts. This year's Jump Festa, which is in about five months, mid-December, is going to be a massive one in my opinion, and I'd love to know all your predictions down below in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day. Take care, guys. Wow.